I think that we're living in the era of the quantified self, you know? Everybody wants to know, uh, when we talked about gamification earlier, am I sleeping better? Am I eating better? Am I getting enough steps in in the day? Um, am I living my most optimal life? And, and it was funny because we saw that early on um, with child uh, development, right? Where you read books by Dr. Spock and what have you uh, about, you know, looking at a child's behavior and, and, you know, as a parent, understanding that at certain, you know, milestones, they should be doing these certain or taking these certain actions. And that was when parents were like, oh, okay, well, little Johnny's starting to speak or he's walking, okay, that's normal based on, you know, what Dr. Spock says and child development. Fast forward today to the fact that you can wear something on your wrist that will tell you you got seven hours of sleep last night. You walked 8,000 steps when you really should have been walking 15,000. Your heart rate rose to X, you know. I think we live in the age of quantified self and I think that Google Glass, while great at the time, may have missed the mark a little bit. I think what we're going to start seeing, specifically out of technology companies, is the opportunity to get that much closer to the consumer, more than ever before. We're going to know, you know, maybe what somebody's DNA might be. You know, there's already testing that can be done uh, in the mobile environment, blood tests and urine tests. I wouldn't be surprised with this whole Ebola crisis that uh, they find a way to test people for Ebola using a mobile application. Uh, just give it time, right?